Hello. So what is this? We're outside. Oh my god. We are at a Venetian? I think so. Venetian. Venetian store. And they have like sweets and whatnots. So let's let's take a quick tour. Someone called the cops. This marzipan is stolen. <laughs> they seem to have quite a few kinds of desserts. Apple pies. If you've ever tried any kind of Venetian desserts, let me know which one is your favorite. This one really seems interesting. I love marzipan. They seem to have quite a few different kinds of sandwiches too. I guess they heat them up somewhere. Why is it that chocolate that is in like tiny bottles? Always very cute. Oh my god, focus. That looks really cute. I love the bottle concept. Be careful for, you know, you don't want to sit down wrong and get a twisty nut. <laughs> Okay, this is an interesting concept because this here says la pâte de pavot, which means that's the dough. So we get the dough in a can? Is that true? Oh wow, this is heavy. This is almost a kilogram. So there's dough in here with poppy seed. So wait, I don't get it. Oh my gosh, speaking of alcoholic type chocolates, we have brandy, we have vodka, that's crazy. We have whiskey. Mmm, chalky. <laughs> this is really interesting. Sauerkraut in a bag. Feels feels like it's a lumpy mass in here. And there's quite a collection of sausages. They love their sausages here. Alright, the collection of tea here is definitely something my friend Sharla would go crazy for. Look at all this. That is that is quite the collection of tea. Army geared mandarin flavoring. I love anything orange flavored, so I don't know. I'm kind of hesitating. There's Arabic written here too. I don't know. I think I want to try the mandarin one. Okay, that is so odd. Plum and cinnamon? <gasps> I must try this now. It's called the magic experience. No. Oh my god. We have pineapple and pear, raspberry, strawberry. This one's eh. Forest fruits? I guess this is just like mixed berries. Tea with cinnamon. Okay, that one's normal. You can't take the sausage out of the Middle Eastern European. Middle Eastern European? Middle Eastern European? <laughs> I done messed up. There's a thing here called food seasoning. Do you know what it is? Nope. If you grains know what food seasoning Sorry. is, I guess it's just like a vegetable seasoning on top of your seasoning. I'm not sure. I think so. I think so too, but there's the yellow one. Oh, this is no added MSG. I like the fact that it's called Vegeta. From the back, it kind of looks like it's vegetable pieces sliced up. It says it's good for seasoning meats, roasts, and barbecue. So I guess it's like a dry rub. I'm just gonna get my two teas. So the mall we are at has, oh my god, my hair, has a lot of old school stuff. I mean, you could see in the back here they have like old toys and vintage things so we're gonna go and explore more of this mall so, so. <laughs> okay this guy mm -hmm. is That's cute it. but as weird as I am because look he's offering me sausage in the middle of the mall <laughs> sausage all right I'll, I'll eat it thank you <laughs> we're in public eating sausages mmm that was really good mmm did you, are you offering me more? Salami? Sure, I'll take salami. <laughs> we have <laughs> salami. Salami. And you wonder where I get bad habits in public. Um, <laughs> mm. Oh, it's very nice. Mm, I like the first one better. All right, so here we have the vintage store. I'm really curious if we're going to be able to find like vintage craft. <gasps> Is that a vintage craft kit? There's a mechanical drawing set. Do we have a price for this? I feel like there is a price on top. I'm gonna check this place out. Oh my gosh, you Gareans can't smell it, but it smells like someone's old basement. Very nostalgic. Holy moly. This is so cool. I know, I think this is the original Light Bright by Hasbro. Archie's. Oh my god, no, is that a Raggedy Ann? I mean, good, she's only 12 dollars. 
I am so tempted to get her. When I was a kid, my mom used to keep playing vintage cartoons on TV and even in Egypt. They used to have a cable network that played vintage cartoons from the 50s, 60s, and 70s on TV. So I thought that was pretty cool. So now I have like all this nostalgic memory from like old school cartoons. That would not pass today. Hello, boys. <laughs> the Erector. This seems to be from 1948. $60. You get Dancerella. My gosh, how old are these things? In case you greens are wondering, this is the name of the shop over here. So if you're into vintage stuff, man, and they're really nice people too. All right, so we are at another store now. Look at that. The whole Fuzzies collection. Very nice. They're probably the smallest dice I've ever seen. Look at that. They're so cute. Perler bead Harry Potter set. That is cute. Definitely won't be reviewing that because perler beads, well, they're perler beads. Many of you greens have been telling me to do diamond painting and I see them right behind me, but honestly, I don't know if I want to spend like eight hours doing a diamond painting for a review and it's only going to take like five minutes of, of like content, so. I'm gonna opt to do the bigger challenges, so like the bigger sculptures, I think. I think that's way better. Interestingly, in addition to googly eyes, they also have these kinds of eyes, which is really neat. This is pretty good for sculptures. And they seem to have different colors too. And their sculpt is actually pretty reasonably priced. At $2.99, that's way cheaper than Michael's. I'm running out of black and white, so I might have to buy a few of these. Oh wow, look at these dioramas. This is really cool. It's only written in French. Well, this one's written in English. This one's only written in French. And you can use plaster to mold pieces and turn it into uh, magnets. These are really cute. All right, I want to share with you guys something really cool. I, I don't know if you could see the sign. Karate. This used to be my karate school. Oh my god. So I used to do karate before I got sick. So yeah, I hope one day I could be able to go back to karate. All right, so I'm looking at some cards over here. They have like packs. This is the only one that seems like it could be mildly offensive and funny. It says, introducing the largest collection of film and TV's most beautiful women ever. So, yeah, it's $1.49. I think I'm gonna pick this up, so let's, let's find out. Actually, I think I'm just gonna put that back because, yeah, I found the boxes. This is what we're getting. I'm gonna have to skip these. All right, I'm gonna pick these up just because I like the packing and they're stickers, so they could be good for my laptop. All right, so we are back home and I think we definitely have to open these. So the reason I got these is because they reminded me a lot of the garbage pail kids that my brother and some high school kids were really into when I was a kid. So I was like, oh my God, this is what it reminded me of. And it's only $1.99. So let's let's see what we get. So this is this is pretty much a preview of the things we can expect. This here is chocolate crypt by pills buried and here it says i think here says gothic chips keep dough resuscitated so these kinds of things make me laugh this one here is like poop jokes so we have pooper mario dude duty land i think it was like 3d land i believe so i guess you have to know the brands in order for the jokes to be funny but hey some might be a hit some might be a miss all right, so, oh, I think they're supposed to be completing a picture in the back. I think so. All right, so the first thing we have is Fruit of the Loon straight jacket. Oh my God, extra snug fit. One kooky garment. Oh my gosh, look at the loon up here. 
one size fits all. So this is a sticker. It's actually like cut around it. Oh no, Minecraft Invisible Box Edition. Build a world of imaginary boxes, walls, and wind. So I guess it's just, oh, it's just annoying. <laughs> I haven't played Minecraft. I know many people would be like, what? I've, I probably should. It would be fun to try and build something on there. What's this one? Just play dead. Zombie fitness. Join the horde. <laughs> is this a game? Yeah, I think it is a game because it says woo. So I guess it's the Wii. Oh, it's probably the Wii fitness. This is really new. What's this? Rated RB for rotting brains. <laughs> lose weight, lose a limb. Hmm, interesting. <laughs> these are these are pretty dark. Tubby Grams, no! <laughs> That's cute. I kind of like this one. Flavor is heavy. Obese grain. Great tussy, tussy taste. I think it's tubby taste. Load-bearing snacks, and then down here. I really like the details. I hope your grains don't mind. Don't, don't mind. Cellulite solution. Good source of chunkiness. Very delicious. Special overstuffed box. This is really cute. I really like the details on these things. This here is Nablimpco. <laughs> Unbearably fattening. Oh my gosh. Oh, that is terribly good. Peter Pfon? In Hawk Peanut Butter. I don't... I don't think I know this brand. There's peanuts, and he's trading it... And just for his dagger? 100% collateral. Not familiar with this one, but... For those of you who get it, let me know. It's cool that all these are stickers, too. Bogus Burger Grilled Vegans. Wait, these are grilled vegans? Oh no! This is terrible! This is terrible, but it's funny. 100% less complaining about animal cruelty. No. <laughs> no animals were harmed in the making of this food. Well, I mean, if you think about it, humans are animals because, you know, we are animals. This is terrible. But it's, it's terrible, but it's terribly funny, but also terrible. Milk Duds. Oh, I know Milk Duds. I don't think I've had... I think I may have had Milk Duds. Horror's groundbreaking Milk Duds. You'll dig them over here. What does it say over there? Eat them before they eat you. Chocolate candy zombies. That's cute. Oh, and what's that one? The game everybody stinks at. Cut the cheese. <laughs> this is really old. This is really, really old. 10 out of 10. I haven't played this game. This is... No, wait, I have played this game, but I mean, I haven't played it recently. I didn't even know what was still going on. Oh no, that is cute. Oh, I love the monsters on this. Crawly Rancher. Crabby Apple, Rathberry, Slaughter Melon, <laughs> Supernaturally Flavored. The candy that bites back. Harsh candy instead of hard candy. These, this is cute. I like this one. I'm probably going to stick this on my laptop. Oh, we get a double. That's interesting. We get a double within the same box? That's so weird. Oh wait, why is this one a blue one? Does this one like glow in the dark or something? I don't know. That's so odd. If any of you know what the difference is between the blue one and the black border, maybe it glows. I don't know. They don't really say it on this thing, so I don't think it glows. That's probably very optimistic of me. All right, let's open the next one. I only got two of them, so let's go for it. Oh, I see M&Ms here. But this is the back. We could look at the back, but let's just focus on the stickers for now. Trick tack, a painful prank for teachers. <gasps> no. Oh no no no. Oh I cringe at this. No, 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 no. I can't I can't stand that. Monster thigh. Oh, is that like a doll's monster high? Leggy Peggy. Mmm, she is curvy. That's a nice thick doll. Booty is in the eye of the boulder. <laughs> oh, that is cute. That should be a nice little motto. Really hip doll. That is cute. I love the curve on her. Really, really cute. Benadryl anesthesia. Coma inducing liquid. Relief sneezing, whining. Oh no, consciousness. Blackout berry flavor. The awareness blocker. That is terrible. Eight months of sleep. I actually can't do Benadryl. For some reason, it gives me like anxiety. Anything that gives me like drowsiness or sleepiness or could technically be a sleep aid actually gives me quite a bit of anxiety, so I can't do any of that. What's that? 
newts and adders. I guess it's like, what's it called? Um, snakes and ladders. The creepy scream and flee game. That's cute. Will you, well, hang on. Will age you three plus years? Oh no. Oh, that is funny. I like the humor on this one. Helly belly. Candy horns. Infernal candy horns from the underworld. Sacrificially flavored. I like that. Oh, that is hilarious. I wish I had gotten more of these now. Tomb Gator Underwater. This is cute. From X Crocs. Raiding tombs for tasty treats. Oh no! Oh, I just realized. These are limbs. I just realized that. That's cute. Well, not cute that they're limbs, but I just love these themes. This is really funny. Oh, that's the pretzels. Okay. Rolled cold frozen solid pretzicles. Liquid nitrogen flavor. These pretzels be chillin' by Frisole. Antarctica's number one pretzels. That's funny. <laughs> Since when? <laughs> that is cute. I like the humor on this one too. Then we have, oh, MySpace, where your friends used to be. <laughs> yes, that's good. Oh, we got another Minecraft. And we got another Fruit of the Loon. I'm really curious what the blue ones are. Let me know. So this is really cool. I really like this. It's kind of like a mixture of dark humor and quirky humor and a little bit of everything in between. So yeah, that's that's it. And also update for the birthday party we had yesterday. We had our cereal bar, we were painting, and we did some really quirky drawings. Don't mind what's on these drawings. These were random prompts that I had everyone write, but they didn't know why they wrote it. So when they picked it up, they had to draw it. So that's the story of that. <laughs> I'll see you grains in the next video. Remember, if you want to watch more Vlogmases, Check out the playlist.